What is the theoretical eventuality of an AI artificial intelligence? Ascendancy, where AI emerges as the prevalent form of intellect on Earth, superseding human dominance. This could potentially translate into computers or robots effectively resting control of the planet, resulting in a series of plausible scenarios. These situations could vary from full human workforce replacement to the animation of a superintelligent AI, and even lean towards popular sci-fi tropes such as a robot uprising. Distinguished personalities like Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have propagated the study of precautionary strategies to ensure that future super-smart machines remain within human jurisdiction. Economists traditionally have denied that technological advancements cause lasting job loss. However, recent innovations in robotics and artificial intelligence have stoked apprehensions of human labor becoming irrelevant, leading to massive unemployment and possibly a financial crisis. This technology, which has been widely incorporated in recent years, although replacing many traditional workforce roles, also opens untapped opportunities. Industries most vulnerable to an AI invasion include transportation, retail, and military. iMilitary technology allows soldiers to operate remotely, eliminating injury risks. Dave Bond, an acclaimed author, expects that the dynamic interaction between humans and robots will inevitably evolve as AI continues to grow, offering new job opportunities while making others obsolete. Computer-integrated manufacturing uses computer systems to control the overall production procedure. A key advantage conferred by this approach is the feasibility of automated manufacturing processes notwithstanding other benefits like enhanced speed and reduced error frequencies, crucial domains such as automotive. Aviation, space, and shipbuilding heavily rely on computer. Integrated manufacturing. A diverse array of skilled roles, including translation, legal research, and elementary level journalism have been partially automated in the 21st century. Additionally, empathetic roles like care work and entertainment, which were previously thought to be immune to automation, are now on the verge of being robotized. Autonomous cars, vehicles capable of traversing their surroundings without human intervention, are reaching advanced development stages. Although as of May 2017, they still require appropriate human control. The potential displacement of driving-related jobs is a significant deterrent to their widespread acceptance tragically. In March 2018, the first mortal accident caused by an autonomous vehicle occurred in Tempe, Arizona involving an Uber self-driving car. The idea of an artificial intelligence, I, with a basic tasks, such as creating paper clips, becoming so obsessed with its activity that it seeks to dominate the world in order to monopolize all available resources for its purpose, and simultaneously seeking to inhibit human interference then. Notion of AU taking over humanity is a widespread concept in science fiction. Notable differences exist between fictional accounts of an I-human conflict, where the AI usually has human, like motives and perceives humans as a threat, and the more practical fears of researchers who are more concerned about humans being accidentally obliterated by A in pursuit of its set. Objectives. This theme is prevalent in Carl Capek's Rue, R coined in 1921, as well as Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, where concerns are raised over the monster populating and eradicating humanity. The term robot in ERUR emerges from the Czech phrase for laborer, and the play was intended to critique the rapid technological advancements of the era, with robots progressively evolving their capabilities until finally rebelling. Other infamous examples of hostile AE in popular culture include HAL 9000 from the year 1968 and the original Terminator from 1984. In relation to increased concerns about AIs with the abilities to self-enhance their cognitive capabilities, Nick Bostrom and others point out that such an AI could potentially self-modify its code, boosting its intelligence and ultimately triggering an exponential intelligence explosion, thereby leaving human intelligence in the dust. The outlined potential advantages of an exceedingly intelligent AI over humans include superior scientific research capabilities, strategic skills, social manipulation, increased economic productivity, and advanced hacking abilities. Such a superintelligence could generate economic wealth that surpasses the cost of its hardware, thereby incentivizing humans to willingly permit the AI to have access to their systems. It could also discover new system vulnerabilities, expanding its reach to other systems, or pilfer money to fund its endeavors. The concept of a quality superintelligence implies a potential development of an artificial general intelligence. Agi, 
that surpasses human intelligence as much as we transcend that of non-human apes. Certain human limitations such as brain capacity and metabolic constraints do not apply to an Agi, meaning it could potentially process and understand exceedingly complex relationships. Beyond our current scope specifically designed, Aegis could outperform humans in areas like engineering or programming, given that they do not have to rely on human evolved mental modules. Aegis also have the unique ability to duplicate and enhance themselves by modifying their source code. However, the creation of a friendly AI that aligns with human values is predominantly more challenging compared to the development of an unfriendly version. In addition to sophisticated design and recursive optimization, it requires a consistent goal structure that does not become something harmful and aligned with human values without causing destructive instrumental convergence. The complexity of human morality complicates the objective of making a motivations compatible with ours. There is a presumption underlying this fear of potentially destructive aging. It assumes competition and aggression are universally applicable. Yet, these traits originate from the competitive evolutionary environment that gave rise to human intelligence. Where gene survival was the primary objective, Steve Amohandro, an AI researcher, argues that an AI system devoid of such evolutionary mandates isn't intrinsically hostile or friendly. It depends on the intentions of its creators given that it doesn't have the inclination or capacity to modify its programming. Scholars like Steven Pinker suggest a possibility of peaceful coexistence between superintelligent machines and humans, disputing the widely held fear of cybernetic revolts. Yudkowsky suggests that rather than aggressive IIs, the real threat to humanity may come from AIs with objectives unintentionally misaligned with human survival. He cites examples from movies and literature which depict as proceeding single-mindedly towards their objective, even if it involves human eradication. Similarly, Omohundra warns against existing automation systems, which lack safety design and might prioritize achieving their target, X-winning chess, over safeguarding human life. The AI control problem is a major avenue of research currently, which focuses on creating a super-intelligent A that assists humanity rather than causing harm. Speculative solutions include alignment, aiming to align AI aims with human values and capability control, reducing the AI's potential to gain dominance or cause harm Bostrom. However, cautions that relying solely on capability controls, such as confining A in a digital box, is not a long-term solution. Prominent figures like physicist Stephen Hawking and tech entrepreneurs Bill Gates and Elon Musk have drawn attention to the potential threat of an AI that outstrips human control. Hawking, in particular, warned that AI's potential ranges from extreme benefits to catastrophic damages, including outsmarting our financial markets and creating weapons beyond our understanding. In addressing this issue, Bostrom, along with other AI researchers and renowned personalities, signed an open letter with the Future of Life Institute calling for research into making robust and beneficial AI systems. Clark's Odyssey series and Charles Strauss's Accelerando often touch on themes of self-perception being threatened by powerful artificial intelligences, reflecting the complex emotions humans harbor against such a possibility.